Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mountain Motorsports in Roswell. I am Chase on two wheels and in front of us, we have a 2020? 2020 Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer. So, if you guys that don't know, typically we do these first drives where we test drive the motorcycle and I let you guys know how the bike is riding it for the first time. But, we are doing a special comparison between the Cafe Racer, the Desert Sled, the 62, and the 1100 Sport. So, if you guys want to make sure you see all of those videos, you got to do a couple things. One, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Two, do me a favor and just like the video because I love you and I'm doing this video for you. Third, down in the description there is going to be a playlist for this entire comparison. So, if you're curious what Scrambler is right for you, make sure to see all the videos in that playlist. But, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we have what I'm pretty sure is my favorite looking scrambler to do a first ride on. Let's get it started right now. Right, guys like I said I am the most excited about this scrambler I don't know why I, I, you guys know I have this like love affair with cafe racers I don't have one I've never had one but I think I want one okay we we feel I feel like we have a really low seated position guys I have a 32 inch inseam I got super bent legs here and uh let's get talk, talk about my in, in well, mine's 32 inches, and that's all that matters right now. All right, how how are we feeling on this? Ah! Shit! <laughs> oh, do we get to go? We get to go. Hell yeah! All right, Scrambler Cafe Racer, baby! Woohoo! All right, so uh, uh, you guys know I don't do this red light shit. <laughs> I don't continue talking if I get a red light. And I got mirrors. Hold on. Let me make sure they're in the right position. Can I see behind me? Can I see behind me? Now we can go. All right, ladies and gents. Scrambler Cafe Racer. First off, let's touch on body position. You, Your upper half is going to be leaned over. I am, I'm leaned over, but it's comfortable leaned over. I'm not, you know, leaned over like race position or nothing. It's kind of a, I, I, can, I can vibe on this stuff right here. Now, one thing that is interesting is my lower half. My lower half, you guys might be able to see in the camera car, I feel tucked up on this. I use the word poised when I'm talking about super sports. This bike on your lower half is very poised. You're gonna have to be ready for that. My legs feel a little squinched. But, I've got plenty of room to grab, so I think a taller rider is gonna be okay. Uh, I actually think the position is really cool. That's that's one of the really awesome things about all these scramblers, you know, is it's got, they all have similar engines. There's a 400, 800, and 1100. The Cafe Racer here has the uh, 800 engine. But, dude, it is insane what a body change and ergo difference will do for a motorcycle. Over here, we've got the uh, upgraded buttons, which I love. You guys know I rode the 62 and, you know, you, you can just feel that Ducati put some cheaper hardware on the buttons, which uh, I know buttons don't seem like a big deal, but if you guys think about it, you're, you're pressing these buttons all the time. So, ooh, I wish, I wish those brakes were a little better though. 
I think maybe one of the things about being in this more aggressive body position is you do feel more aggressive. It does make you want to go faster, break harder. And I do wish I got a little stronger bite from the get go on the brakes. I had to, uh, I had to squeeze that front lever a decent amount before I really started feeling like I was slowing down. Ooh, shifting feels good though. Shifter's feeling really good, guys. Every time I'm shifting up, I'm getting that satisfactory click. Power delivery is actually pretty manageable. Do we have modes? We'll play, we should play around with this later, but I want to see if it has modes. I don't think it does. All right, cool, no modes. So guys, speaking of the engines real quick, uh, this Cafe Racer is rocking out the, uh, the 800cc version of the Scrambler engine, which if you ask me, the 800cc feels the most balanced you know, like considering the entire motorcycle, I feel like 800's where it's at. I'm not saying the 1100's not fun as hell, but as far as an overall motorcycle and feeling it go back and forth, I, I feel like the 800 might be the best engine to go with as far as weight to power. I'm honestly surprised a little bit by this body position, guys. I expected it to to give me those um, those sport bike characteristic kind of negatives you know if you guys have ever ridden super sports you know that you're leaned all the way over and your lower back starts hurting but right now i'm i'm feeling pretty fine power's delivered in a really smooth way i i like that a lot ideally i would like the option you know i, I would like the uh, an intense power mode but i like the way that this smooth power comes on Whoa, good God, are we in first? Yeah. <laughs> uh, engine braking in first is a little, a little strong. The other gears didn't seem to be that strong. Look at that smooth power delivery, man. We're in town, I can just give it some good throttle. Whoa. I'm not a fan of that, though. Did you guys notice that? One second. Look how much throttle play is in the throttle before it engages. I am not a fan of that. I don't know if you can adjust that. I imagine you could maybe uh, adjust your throttle cables or something to take that away I don't like that at all I like the sound though you guys hear that shit? hold on let's hit this turn a little bit it's got a really smooth lean on it like when you lean over it's not dropping one way or the other like a super sport would it's got a real progressive feel leaning it back and forth well, that's, that's cool, though. We got this smooth throttle. We got a smooth lean. Oh, my God, I hate that. That's cool, dude. This is a very manageable 800. I, I would not have expected it to be this manageable, which is great. I love that. Everything is satisfying right now, man. I feel cool as hell because I'm on this cafe racer situation. I'm leaned over a little bit, so I feel slightly aggressive. And then everything just kind of reacts smoothly. If you guys that don't know, smooth is fast when it comes to motorcycles. Oh no, where are we going with that? We're just gonna go over here, that's terrifying. Engine braking's pretty light from the get-go until we get down, yeah, first gear every time, man. First gear's got some good braking, but the rest of the gears, I kinda, I'm wanting more. The bike seems like it's got a good amount of power for riding around town and it's smooth power so if you get accidentally blip throttle too much it's not going to throw you off instantly it's got a little bit of a progressive power delivery i am a fan of that i can tell when it's in first gear every time by the engine braking that's hilarious so guys we're coming up on the highway and uh I feel pretty confident with an 800cc engine. You know, that typically that's a plenty of power to get you where you need to go on the highway. Uh, I really only am curious, like up to 90, realistically for uh, US highways. What I'm really curious about with this bike though is how's the wind gonna be? You know, we don't have any protection. This is probably the most minimal scrambler as far as cluster goes and what's in front of you as a rider. So I'm interested in how that's going to translate to the highway. 
Dang, I really wish I could have been in front of that truck. I would have had free highway entrance. Highway looks gross. Great. Check out the uh, the way the LEDs do in the, in the front light on this bike, guys. It's got like that circular LED situation. So freaking good looking, man. All right. Please don't get stuck behind the FedEx truck. Highway entrance of the Scrambler Cafe Racer. We're definitely going to get stuck behind the FedEx truck. Awesome. All right. Nothing to it but to do it. Got no problems kind of peering over my shoulder and looking behind me, which is nice. You know, some bikes, depending on the body position you're in, it's very uncomfortable to look over your shoulder. We definitely don't have that here. All right. Let's ride a motorcycle. Power is still smooth here on the highway. Going 85, fifth gear, looking at 6,000 RPMs. No problems at all right now. So you do get a lot of wind right now, guys. There's no denying it. I've got a lot of wind hitting me full body. There's nothing helping me right now. But something I'm noticing is, I told you guys earlier, I am kind of leaned forward a little bit on the motorcycle. And what I'm finding is the highway is actually kind of comfortable because of being leaned forward, the wind is kind of holding me upright. So I don't, I have to do less abdominal work to stay up. So it's, it's kind of comfortable. I'm, I'm totally okay with this. But my question is, what if we like sit back or forward a little bit and kind of just cruise like we're, uh, like we're maybe doing a commute of some sort. We're doing 85. Even this, man. I could do this all day. Which is kind of odd. This reminds me of riding like my uh, R6 back in the day, my Super Sport. You know, but it has way more fairing. So I'm not really sure how it can be this comfortable on the highway. But solid pass. Solid pass as far as the engine and the... Uh, ergonomics go when it comes to uh, wind resistance. Let's see if we can get around all these guys. Got plenty of passing power here on the US highways. Good showing, Cafe Racer. I just like getting these bikes to 100 just to show you they can. Obviously this guy, bike's got no problem with that. Surprisingly, I feel pretty planted here on the highway as well. I'm getting a couple gusts back and forth and I don't really seem to be going anywhere. So a definite other pass. You don't want to feel fragile on the highway. You know, there's too many big cars. There's too much wind going on. It's the last place you really want to feel like you're just a little rag doll. All right, we're going to intentionally slow down a little bit because you guys know I like hitting this turn. This turn is one of the main turns that really gives me an idea of how the bikes feel leaned over. Obviously, I'm not really close to the mountains, so I can't really go and like take these bikes through a proper ride for you guys, but this turn gives us a good idea. Nah, these people are not going like even kind of fast enough. <laughs> Well guys, I can't give you a hard lean over, but what I can tell you is when dipping the bike in, doesn't dip in very quickly, but it's methodical, you know? You you feel planted, you feel good. I uh I like that feeling. I'm I'm not a huge fan of the just flick it around situation. There's those brakes. I wish they were a little stronger still. Um I kind of like my bikes being, you know, I, I tend to like heavier bikes. And the reasoning for that is when I'm leaning it back and forth, you know, I can feel that weight move over, but it makes me feel more secure in the turn. Now granted, a lot of that is your tires and your suspension, but uh, the weight just gives me that feel that I want when I'm leaning bikes over. Look at that power delivery, man. So smooth, so controllable. It gets you going fast and you don't even know you're going fast. 
This is one of those bikes where all the components are making sense, guys. Power delivery is smooth. The D-cell is smooth with the engine braking and stuff like that. It's just a real, it's a far smoother motorcycle than I would have ever expected a Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer to be. But this is making for a really enjoyable riding experience. I, I am having a really good time with this. I could totally see somebody having this as their only bike and just doing everything on it. Also, that eight, this is, here's one of the reasons you want the 800, right? Because the little 62, the 400, I mean, it doesn't have this. That's a stock exhaust, man. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> it's enjoyable. It's good to listen to. At a standstill, revving it up, it sounds beefy. And then when you get going on it, it kind of just drifts away. And you can just enjoy the ride. You know, you got nothing in front of you to, to distract you. Yes. Dangerously wants you to ride faster. Blown away that Ducati can have so many totally different motorcycles that are all based on each other. You know, all these scramblers are so different. And the person that should buy them are all so different. This Cafe Racer is probably the biggest example. Oh, I didn't put my foot down. Let it be clear, I did not put my foot down. <laughs> Oh man, what a good bike. Any bike that you see a turn and you get excited to lean into it, automatically a good bike. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what the stupid little characteristics are, good bike if you're excited to ride it. That's the whole freaking point of us putting ourselves in danger riding these things is so we can experience a whole nother level of life. And if your bike's not giving that to you, you are probably on the wrong motorcycle or you shouldn't be riding motorcycles. The cool thing about this bike though is, you know, we're sitting here kind of puttering. I'm still having a good time. It's awesome to have a motorcycle that you don't feel like you have to be goosing it the whole time to have a good time. You should be able to ride it chill and still smile. You know what I'm saying? This bike definitely gives me that. Oh, and that D-cell with the engine braking sounds so good. Man, what, what a solid machine, man. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love riding motorcycles, period. But I also, I really enjoy getting to do these first rides when they're on bikes that you know, I don't really know what to expect, or maybe I, I don't really have an expectation of, of what the bike should be, and I get to discover that here on this first ride. I, I love that so much. This guy turning? He is not turning. All right, guys, we're at a stop. Since we have a shorter bike, put my legs down, don't need to, but watch this power delivery. How good is that, man? How confidence inspiring is that kind of power delivery? It's just smooth the whole way up. So I'm not gonna lie, guys. I came into this first ride thinking the Cafe Racer was the best looking one of the bunch that we're doing. But my thought process is, okay, if it looks good, it probably is gonna ride like crap. And the majority of the other scramblers are pretty upright you know you've got an upright body position you got handlebars this is the only one that has clip-on style bars and i was a little worried about that because i'm like if you change the ergos up that much i don't know if that engine performing i don't know if getting the same engine performance out of something that's upright versus leaned over is going to be like equal i don't know if it's going to be as good but Honestly, I think this is the best riding scrambler that I've ridden so far. The, the 800cc feels like it's the right size. The body position gets me excited to ride. The engine delivers the power in a way that makes it controllable and easy to ride. And, it, and, and going back to the beginning, it looks the coolest. It looks the coolest to me, you know, subjectiveness and all. But... 
I I came in ready for the bad. Honestly, right now the worst parts of this motorcycle are the uh, throttle free play in the beginning and the brakes. I want them to be a little a little harder. Uh, I want them to grab a little more, but other than that, I'm feeling good, man. We got the good switches. We've got a very nice uh, kind of cockpit area. Dude, we're we're doing some good stuff right here. Obviously, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of the blue, but I still think it looks good, you know? Are we going to get this yellow? Is this car going to stop? They're going to turn yellow right now. Oh, they're going to stop, fudge. Color me surprised, dude. Look how thin the bike looks from this perspective. Gas tank's pretty thin. I love the, the fact, I'm hoping these are stock. I hope that this bike comes with bar end mirrors because it kind of has to, right? You know, sitting here looking at this bike, I, I tell you guys all the time that bikes, if they're gonna have a look, they need to have a universal look. It needs to, it needs to be all over the motorcycle. I don't think anything on this bike doesn't look like it belongs on this motorcycle. We'll take a closer look up here on the, off when uh, we turn off the road and kind of walk around the bike real quick, but I'm pretty sure that there's nothing really crazy about this bike. I am noticing something. That area right there is getting warm. Like, very warm. And if I remember correctly, this is an air-cooled motorcycle, so when you're not moving, bike's going to get a little hot. Keep that in mind. There's something about the exhaust. I can't really hear it right now, but <laughs> this is gonna sound so stupid. The shaking of the bike is feels the same as what the exhaust sounds like. So I feel like the exhaust is a bigger, a bigger thing than it is because the bike shakes with the exhaust. I don't know if that makes sense. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. But I don't know. I like exhausts that aren't in your face loud. I like them to be kind of subtle. But then when you rev it, you get that, that, that meaty engine. I'm getting that on this motorcycle. Hardcore. Alrighty, ladies and gents. Let's park this thing up and take a look at it. Alright. Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer. Even the shock. Even the shock is grayed out to match the motorcycle. Now granted, we've only got the, the single seat here, but this looks detachable. And I'm gonna imagine you can get a seat because this, you guys can see the seat kind of goes in there. So if you needed a passenger, I'm sure you could take that off. They've got the grab rails down here just for them to hold on to. Look at this, guys. Even the stock exhaust, everything looks like it should be on this motorcycle. I, seriously, I'm looking over it and I'm trying to think of like where what does not match but everything looks like it goes this is the uh here let's look at that led bro are you kidding me i love that i love these little led circular situations yeah levers are blacked out you know everything's black or dark gray such a good looking motorcycle no i know some of you guys don't like when motorcycles do the little uh, swing arm tag thing, personally, I'm here for it. I would much rather have this than the stupid shit off the tail. I think cleaning the tail up like that does so much for a motorcycle. Look at this profile shot. You know, I know on the other side we can see that bracket for the license plate, but from here, dude, this is the shot. Legitimately, this is one of those few motorcycles you can buy this and you don't have to do anything to it. You can just have the bike as is. You don't got to do bar in mirrors or some tail delete bullshit. You can literally just enjoy your motorcycle. That is one of the things I love most about this motorcycle because there's so few of those. And this one definitely does it. Uh, so guys, before we get back on the bike, I'm going to do my little Instagram photo. If you guys aren't following me, at c 2 Picks is this channel. Follow us over on Instagram. We do a lot of photos. You'll be able to see the one I just took. And you can see all the other photos. We do a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, too, uh, about, like, how we're filming. Because we do try to do a little more high-production stuff. So Instagram, at c 2 Picks to get all of the photos. But, you know, this is Chase on Two Wheels, not Chase on Two Feet. So I'm going to get back on the Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer. 
and get it going. I also so, I something I like that the, it's surprising they don't have Cafe Racer anywhere on here. It just is a Cafe Racer. You know what I mean? I love that. There's there's some Ducati ness going on with that <laughs> of like we don't have to call it a Cafe Racer. We're just gonna put Ducati Scrambler on it. You know what you're looking at. All right, boys. All right, guys, so we're finishing up the first ride here of the uh, Cafe Racer. And I've got to say, this is one of the best scramblers I have ridden, bar none, all around. Uh, I love the body position. I love the power delivery. The brakes need a little bit more bite. I love the look. I think the uh, power is delivered well. I think the weight and the size and the engine size all work really well together. This might be the scrambler to get. No lie, guys. Uh, who do I think this bike is really made for? Honestly, man, you could have this as your only bike. It's comfortable enough to ride around all day. It's fun to ride around. You're going to have an absolute ball on it. You've got an 800cc engine, which means you're going to have smiles for days. You're not going to get tired of that engine size. And it's fun to ride in the corners and the turns. So if you wanted to take it for a track day, you could. But you also have this really cool looking motorcycle that you could take around to the bars or, you know, bike nights, whatever the hell you do, and show your bike off, you know? This is... This is one of the bikes that really surprised me. I thought this would be a shitty ride, and that's what you had to deal with to have such a cool-looking motorcycle, but it's actually the exact opposite. You get the cool-looking motorcycle, and you also get the amazing ride that goes with it. I am, I am just shocked right now, guys. I love it riding around town because of that smooth power delivery. I really can't say enough good stuff about this motorcycle. The only thing I would uh, I would tell you to watch out for is it is a Ducati. The cost of maintenance is probably going to be a little more than your average bike. Uh, so just keep that in mind. If you're going to do your own work on your bike, then power to you, do it to it. You got an open engine, so you got plenty of accessibility to get to everything. But just keep that in mind as far as cost of ownership. And guys, that's that's all I've really got about the Cafe Racer. I can't really say much much better things about it, right? Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. It is massively important to us, especially if you got here towards the end of the video. Uh, also, if you guys are in the market for your next motorcycle, I got to give a shout out to the guys that let me borrow this motorcycle, Mountain Motorsports. Those guys got multiple dealerships up here in North Georgia, and uh, they have a ton of inventory. So if you don't know if a bike fits you or not, they're a great place to go in, sit on a few motorcycles, and kind of get a fit for what fits you best. If you do go to Mountain and check out a motorcycle and you purchase it from them, click down below. I've got this first drive special pricing link where you guys can actually save money on motorcycles that you buy at Mountain Motorsports. So it's worth a try to see if, you know, that price can get it down enough to maybe you can get a bike you didn't think you could afford or something like that. But guys, hopefully I helped you out on this video. Hopefully you have a better idea of the Cafe Racer from the Scrambler Ducati line. I'm Chase on Two Wheels, guys. It has been a pleasure having you guys ride around with me today, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, outro crew, we are to the end of the Cafe Racer first ride. My question to you guys, do you prefer clip-ons or do you prefer the handlebars? Like I said, this is the only Scrambler with a clip-on style bars, so what are you guys looking for? Not just with scramblers, just bikes in general. Do you prefer handlebars or clip-ons? Let us know in the comments down below, guys. And as always, love you long time. Later, guys.